I've created a safe place and a little tunnel for me to shoot through. I can see his hand, I'm gonna pass through. Once I've got this, it's safe to give him that. Make sense? How are we doing? You wanna see it again or are we ready to try it? One more time if you don't mind. One more time. Turn around. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. All right, Kevin goes into the pressure. I relax from the pressure and I deliver the cut. One more time, nice and slow. I'm gonna yield and lift. All right, I see the target. My hand goes first, the foot follows. I step under my arm and deliver the cut. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let's try it. Kevin, ask for a raise. When he gets me, I feel love. Kevin, ask for a raise. <laughs> Provosts get paid. I, I think he gets a dollar a head. He's actually doing quite well. Okay, it's Kevin, the baby seal. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, can you guard? Let's just review the technique. I want to make sure that this attack is delivered to the inside bar. Ready, thank you. So this is where we were. There's his pressure. He's going to come back. Boom. I'm truncating a little bit because there are still more movements I could counter. At the point where he... He ends the pressure and comes back. I could once again try to seize him here and step in. Let's do that one. Oh, no, it's good. I, I want to move on to the next one. We, we, we're just running out of time. I want to give everybody a oh, chance to try this. To this cool thing. Let's uh, come on in just a bit. There we go. Just give me this engagement. Boom. And through this whole thing, I'm still just a patsy. I'm, I'm falling for everything. He's going to give me the disengagement again. Right. And now I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. Right, because now all all of this weight is going to come moving forward, and I'm I'm in it. I'm in it bad. All right, what what am I going to do? Well, I've got an attack on the inside line coming in. I'm going to use a taho, and this is enough. Right, step back, block with an taho. If I can get it, I'll take this and transport it. As it comes in, I'll give it a conclusion. Does that make sense? This is tough, right? This is the last possible so, reaction that you've done. So you're carrying his blade across your body as he's doing Posato. Well, I'm I'm breaking distance and doing this. So as he starts to go, go, and go. Let's, let's just pick up, up the pace a little bit. If I break it up, it's a little harder. Go ahead. Boom. And go. All right. So I realize there is a blade headed towards my delicate regions. Right. What I really want to do is I'm going to, once I realize I'm in trouble, go ahead again. Once I realize that I'm in trouble and he's free, this is where I'm going. I'm going to go from this, what we would call an Italian four to an Italian two. Whether I pick up his blade or not, in a Tahoe as he's trying to make the strike, uh, it doesn't matter so much as, as I close it. Again, and go. As he passes, I'll seize his arm. You know, so I push my foot back to break distance. And as he goes, right there. Does this make sense? You want to see it again? Yes, yeah. please. Nice and slow, Kevin. A little closer. Right there. There you go. Here's the pressure. Here's the attack. I start to spiral. He starts to go. Make sense? Want to try it? that we create a good defensive ramp in this situation. Come on guard, and give me the attack. If I do this, right, Kevin's happy. I cannot, I cannot move him from one line to another like that. I need to lead with my tip the whole way through. Again. See how I change the line with my tip? See how I take that engagement for myself? Again. Go. Boom. I have to point into the threat, right? Fabris, the blade's always strongest on the side to which it points. I think he stole that from Pacheco. Uh. <laughs> Let's try it. 